Two communities in mourning with children processing grief and violence after one of their classmates was killed in an apparent murder-suicide. Police say an Andover father shot his own wife and his own son before ending his life. Tonight, family members tell WBZ there was a history of mental health issues in that home. And tonight, the heartbreak extends from Andover to Danvers, where that young man was a student. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Friends and neighbors are banding together to support children who knew the 12-year-old victim. WBZ's Christina Rex is live at the Andover Police Station. And Christina, this is devastating for so many families. Absolutely, Lisa, and it feels like we've been saying this way too often lately, but these families and these kids especially are just struggling to make sense of how a tragedy like this could happen, and their parents are struggling to explain it to them. Somber moments Thursday night as two communities grieve the loss of beloved sixth grader Sebastian Robinson. Male screaming in the background. Um, hear things smashing. Early Thursday morning, police received a 911 call from inside the Andover home on Porter Road. After banging down the door, they found 55 year old Linda and 12 year old Sebastian dead from apparent gunshot wounds. 56 year old husband and father Andrew had then apparently turned the gun on himself in a domestic violence murder suicide. The difficulties of working these scenes. We only need to look back at the last couple of weeks in Massachusetts. Family tells WBZ there were mental health issues in the home, but this tragic end was a complete shock. He definitely um, meant a lot to me. Classmates at St. John's Prep in Danvers remember Sebastian as a loving, creative kid. There's bad people in this world, not everything's sunshine and rainbows. The boy's closest friends came from St. Augustine School in Andover, where he was a student until 2021. This morning was definitely just like hard because none of us really expected anything to happen. We just kind of like came to school today. His former classmates spent the day in grief counseling. We were all just like kind of sitting in the classroom crying and it was, it was just like really hard. And the night at a vigil in his memory. Our father, the warrants in heaven, as the adults in the room tried to make sense for them of how a father could allegedly hurt his own wife and son. Quiet. And they were definitely shaken. They were, were hurt. Some of them were sobbing. And uh, that's a very difficult thing to, uh, to, uh, to see. And the police chief said, we know the how, we just don't know the why. And grief counseling will remain available for all students at both schools tomorrow. Live in Andover, Christina Rex, WBZ News.